Hello everyone. Welcome again to another session of Minds Good Tech. Um, today we are here continuing our um, uh, series on jQuery plugin development. And my uh, previous session, I was um, working on uh, a jQuery plugin to create a model dialog box. Till now, what we have done is we have created the dialog box and triggered closing of the dialog from the dialog title close button and from within the content page so next thing is um we have we have coded certain features of this particular plugin as hard coded features but there are situations where you want to control certain properties of the dialog for example the height and width and the url it is loading and the title of the dialog box so let's go to our plugin module and tell this particular function that it is going to receive options so once we receive those options, we are going to store those options in um, a local variable for this particular plugin. Let's create um, variable call settings. And it is going to be extended from an empty object with options provided to it so we assume that uh, at the first level the options will be containing height and width so if we have height and width received in model dialog from options so it is going to be part of settings now so wherever we were um, creating the container here we have to set the dialog container dot css as height and take it from settings dot height width but there are situations when we may find that those options are not provided at all so what we can do we can provide the default values for height as 300 pixel and width as 500 pixels and override these properties from the options if the option is not containing width it will take 500 pixel if option is not containing height it will take 300 pixels for the height so let's try this from the index page so we have an option over here where we pass on option object so let's set its height as 400 pixel and width as 400 pixels and let's refresh the page okay so we have got it we have a 400 pixel by 400 pixel box. The next thing is we have to have an option to change the title to. So let's have a default title as dialog box. 
and if this particular title is provided from the front end while executing um, my new plugin okay so if i refresh now i should see sorry i have to set this particular title over here settings dot title show the message and we can see the title also has been changed so we have changed the title we have changed the height and width from the options when we are calling to show the content of the page but in case when we need to change the content also so what we can do we can provide additional property which is saying url and it is null or nothing so in case some url has been provided from uh, the polling function we can set that url over here settings dot url and from the index page i will again definitely i'll call um, dialog dot html only url is equal to dialog dot html let's see whether the contents yes contents are loaded so this particular um, dialog box is now customizable for um, changing the title changing the contents and changing the dimensions so i assume that um, our um, jquery plugin for showing up a dialog box is complete in case you have any questions on this particular topic please drop your comments drop your suggestions at the bottom of this video and i will try to rectify the uh, the problems the code for this particular video which i have written uh, will be shared i will be creating another jquery plugins and i will be sharing the same with you so keep watching and subscribe to my channel have a nice day bye bye